Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the system and compressed memory services are experiencing high CPU, RAM, and disk usage on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and search for advanced. Best results, you'll come back with View Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the Settings button underneath Performance, where that corresponds to Performance. And you want to select the Advanced tab. Select the Change button underneath Virtual Memory. And then where it says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives, keep that check marked. If it's set to something else, just go ahead and toggle it to the Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Select OK. And then select OK again. So just OK to close out of all of those. And if you had to make any changes, you will need to restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and actually restart later. Because there's going to be a couple more things I want to do as well. Next thing would be to open up the search menu and type in services. Best match, come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Scroll down and locate the sys main service. So S-Y-S-M-A-I-N. Double click on it. Set startup type to disabled and then stop the service. Select apply and OK. And now that you've done that, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons and then select power options. Expand the show additional plan section and select high performance favors performance but may use more energy. If you're using a laptop, I would maybe not adjust that or you could just do it temporarily. It will use marginally or at least a little bit more battery usage. I've used this on laptops before and the difference isn't usually that noticeable in terms of battery usage because it's going to use more battery if it's using a higher performance setting. If you're on a desktop, I basically always just turn it to high performance. So. I would set that as you see it on my screen. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. You also want to go open up the search menu. Type in disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select clean up system files. And then I recommend selecting OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select delete files. Windows Update Cleanup is like 8 gigabytes in size, so that's going to take a while to clean up. In your case, I would let it keep running. It's going to free up a decent amount of hard drive space if you don't run this utility fairly often. I'm going to just cancel it. I don't want it to take 20 minutes to clear that out, but you guys get the gist on that. One further thing we're going to do before we restart our computer would be opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And now we're finally going to restart our system. And there you go, guys. So hopefully this was able to help clear up your issues you were having on your computer. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.